Okay, so no boo this time. But um, yeah, so let's, let's walk through this mechanism together. So this is going to be our product and this is going to be our reactants. Something is missing here already. Don't, ooh, don't, don't look back at the product that I showed you before. Try and walk this through with me. Or if you guys got stuck, try and walk this through with me. If you guys didn't get stuck, just walk through your own mechanism and see if it's the same as mine. Ooh. So basically now, you know this is your reactants and we're doing a sensory re reaction, right? So the first things first, just try and think it through. What is probably going to happen first? Uh, the most, one of the most common mistakes is that people always do this first. This doesn't happen because it doesn't really make sense. Because if you think about it, your bromine is neutral here, so he's happy already. Why would you? He doesn't really want to leave. You don't. Really, he doesn't really want to leave, or you don't really want to create an anion, right? Because if you guys learn from orgo or in previous classes like Gen Chem, an anion isn't that stable of a molecule. It's re It's better to get a neutral molecule usually. So don't do this as your first step, but that happens, that stuff happens because you actually start here. The electrons of your methoxide group, right? Like I said before, your methox, your nucleophile is going to play a role in how fast this reaction occurs because he's starting the attack. The electrons from the oxygen here, he's going to come in and not attack from the front, right? This, I'm going to clean this step right here, backside attack. He's going to attack from the back basically, opposite where your leaving group bromine is. And the reason why you want to attack at the back, right, is if you take a look at the model kits. So this is our model kit for our substrate, right? Two in-plane hydrogens. So my hydrogens here, they're in-plane. If you guys can't see in-plane, right, that means they're neither coming at you or away from you. One bromine that's wedged, so it's coming at your face, bromine in your face. And then a CH3 in the back, right? It's over here, if you guys can't see. Okay, CH3 is over here. <clears throat> and then your CH3O minus methoxide, right? He's pretty big of a molecule, but he's not, he's not considered super hindered. Your methoxide, if it attacks in the front, it's going to clash with this bromine group that's trying to leave. So if he's kind of trying to come in here and substitute in, right, and he clashes with the bromine, it's going to make the bromine not leave. So what you want to do is actually have your methoxide come in from the back opposite the bromine. So this way the bromine gets kicked out. And what happens is actually instead of just directly plugging in your methoxide right here, your methoxide is hacked here. So now the CH3 group right in the back, this guy actually shifts over to the front so that your CH, your, your methoxide that attack in the back, he can just get plugged in right in the back. So this should be your, oh, my model, my model kit's not being with me. But this should be your final part. CH3 in the front, methoxide in the back, because that's where you attacked from. So this is the front view, this is the back view, methoxide in the back. So that's why, um, that's basically what this term means, inversion. Inversion just means that you, when you attack with a nucleophile and substitute, what, su what gets substituted in is opposite where your leaving group was before. It's like if your leaving group, bromine, was in the front. Pretend like this, this is bromine, right? If bromine was in the front, wherever it gets substituted in, gets added onto the back. So it gets like inverted. That makes sense. All right. So yeah, and that's also the whole reason behind why SN2 reactions have to be with primary carbons. See, this is a primary carbon here because before with bromine, um, primary carbon means that your carbon's binded to just one other carbon. So this carbon is just binded to one other carbon. So yeah, primary carbon. It there is a nice empty space over here that allowed us to do our SN2 backside attack. But if you take a look at our SN1 reaction, right? Oh, wow. I just realized I spaced, I, I spaced out way too much, and I didn't even finish this, this mechanism. <laughs> but uh, let's see, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Um, I'll just show you guys why, it's, why it has to be primary carbon first. But yeah, actually, I already showed you guys why it has to be primary carbon. But why, com comparing it to SN1, the reason why um, uh, SN2 reaction can't be tertiary like SN1 is because if you're working with a tertiary carbon, right, and your methoxide is over here, he tries to come in and attack, I'll show you guys the back now. This is the back. So if your methoxide tries to attack, he can't get in there. He can't, no sex jokes, he can't get in there and he can't access that carbon right there. So you can't do a backside attack for SN1. 
and I'll explain to you how that re uh, mechanism or reaction works. So, coming back to here, finish my mechanism. I hope not. I hope you guys didn't all stop watching the video already. But um, yeah, so your methoxide attacks from the back, right? And then carbon can only handle four bonds. So he's kind of like, holy um, crap! I have too many electrons. I can't handle all these electrons. I have to give up something. So who does he give up the electrons to? Hydrogens that are not electronegative. I hope you guys remember electronegativity, but that's just uh, atoms pull on electrons. Hydrogens aren't electronegative, so they don't have a strong pull on electrons, so he doesn't give the electrons to the hydrogens. He, can, he, can he give the electron to the carbon? Uh, it's possible because carbon has a stronger pull of electrons than, on hydro than hydrogens, but you have something better than that. You have bromine over here. So carbon just gives the electrons to bromine because bromine is very electronegative. It's like all the way on the right on the periodic table. So when something is electronegative, it means there's a really strong pull of electrons. So the electrons in the bond, instead of being right in the middle, like a normal bond, right? It's already all the way over here. That's where the two electrons in the bond are located. So it's really, really easy for the carbon to just be like, okay, take the electrons. I don't need them. I have more electrons coming from the oxygen. So then uh, what happens is the bond, the electrons from the bond itself, make sure you start drawing it from the bond, goes to the bromine, and then you get the bromine by itself, right? Methoxide's added on over here, right? And then, am I missing the negative charge in the product? No, because methoxide gave up one electron to the carbon, right, to form this bond of friendship. I know, really, really corny, but it'll help you <laughs> memorizing it if it's a stupid way of remembering it, bond of friendship, but yeah. Um, yeah, so there's a, bond, there's a bond between them now. And then, yeah, so he basically gave up an electron to the carbon. So you don't need to have a negative charge here anymore, right? Because he's now neutral. Oxygen is neutral when he has two bonds. In this case, he's only bonded to the carbon. In this case, he's bonded to this carbon and this carbon. So he's nice and neutral. Bromine, however, right, he needs an electron. I mean, he needs a negative charge because he got the electron that was in the bond. Now, bromine is going to be negative, like in the products that I showed you guys before. And that's the reason why um, SN2 reactions start out negative and end up negative. Because your leaving group, right, he's taking the electrons in the bond. And your nucleophile, who had extra electrons, are donating it to the carbon that he's attacking. Okay? So, yeah. Hopefully, uh, these points make sense more now, and SN2 reactions are clear. Um, next video is going to be uh, SN1. All right. I uh, hope that helped. Once again, please help me share share this share this these videos with your friends, and um, also if you have any comments, feel free.